Hello traders and welcome to our trade update video. It's still now up on here, founder of Master Markets Illustrious Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are on this trade on this dollar yen and that is after the FOMC report yesterday and we are just a little bit up over 2,200 pounds okay, net after commissions and all that. It's about 2,100, just a little bit over 2,000 pounds. Now how did we enter this particular trade? Now let's take a look at this. Now what we are looking at first is entry points, right? So I'll just put this video on this topic called profitable entry points, okay? Profitable entry points. Three things you can do to get this highly lucrative profitable entry points in the market, okay? The first thing is what we teach um, all our Master of the Market members, including our Traders Base Camp, Elite clients, and so on and so forth, is this concept of open equity. Now, the whole of the financial world is based on this one word, and especially professional traders and investors will always be looking at this. Now, what does this mean of open equity? Now, open equity basically means how much of the move is left, okay? How much of the move is left? How much of the move is left? What do I mean by this? Especially as swing traders, it's very important to know how much of the swing move is left, okay? Now, let me explain. For example, if it's in an uptrend, and you can see that it's coming down, and then it just... Is coming up over here, right? It just confirmed its low, let's say. Now, you know on an average, a swing move, that means from a bottom to top or from a top to bottom is, let's say, 500 pips, let's say, in terms of currency world. In terms of stocks, that can be 300, uh, 300 points or 400 points or what's, a, what's enough. Now, so in terms of that, once you know your average open equity, that 80% of the moves do, if that is 500 pips and you know that only this move, as of now as you're seeing, only has done 75 pips only, therefore you now know there's a lot of move left in this move, okay? That means there's still about 435 pips. So it's very important to know this number, the average open equity, the average of the swing move from bottom to top or top to bottom okay so that's the first point you must know now in this example here you can see that we were looking for a top to bottom move now when we entered it on this green bar here you can see you can see that the move from the high to the low of that green bar is 92 pips okay so it's only 92 pips so you can see that in an average even if it was 300 pips, there's still a lot of move to go, right? From 92 to 300, still a, more than 200 pips to go, right? So that's how open equity really helps us. Now, the thing to distinguish open equity, some of you may already have figured out by now, that's why we have all these arrows over here, is that you must have your tops and bottoms quantified, okay? No discretion, because if I take away these arrows, some of you may say that this is a high, that is that is a low, no, this is a low, no, 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 that that, that is a high. So all of you will like, get different answers, and we constantly do this in Traders Base Camp, and constantly everyone gets different answers. So it's very important that your highs and lows are quantified, because without that, you cannot get stable, valid, statistics that you are convinced of in terms of open equity okay then you won't know how much move is left on a quantified model okay so that's the important thing in establishing open equity your highs and lows must be quantified and they must be quantified in a way that gives you the largest open equity now the second thing traders the second thing that we are then looking for after we know open equity, we need to enter at the right price action. We need to enter at the right price action. There's so many different price action types. Uh, we talk a lot about this in all our webinars and all that, and also in the round-the-clock uh, trader as well. 
so definitely take a look into that now one one of the things I would say in this example that we took is you can start maybe taking a look at price which maybe goes against you that means for example if you're taking a top to bottom move right a top to bottom move is coming down and then suddenly it goes up okay so this looks like it's reversing is it not now but then if your high is now already confirmed according to your quantification what then we can do is whenever price is going against us but you know a lot of open equity is left then you can look to enter the trade at different levels either at the close or either on the high and then placing your stop then it's a different question altogether okay so that's what you got to look at but i'm just talking about entry points over here so price action right so open equity decide that and then after that price action and then one quote that i would uh, use over here and refer to in which a lot of big traders and investors use is that they usually would say that enter the market when there's a lot of blood in the markets right when it's totally going against you and that's what i mean by here and sometimes it can it can even be more drastic can even be a big big another thick um, green bar over here before then we can just enter into uh, in into the buyer bar and sell it okay so that's what we mean blood in the market or oh, another literal meaning is that of course if it's going up that's the typical one of blood in the markets and they come down like crazy right but then you can still see that they're still going to turn and there's still a lot of open equity left and you enter it the most scarier it is okay that is going to go down so yeah that of course involves psychology and that's actually the second component of um, of good trading okay professional trading right so that's to do with that right so the second thing is a price action and then finally the one and two points one and two especially point number two should help you in the last part which is should give you a good reward to risk ratio okay so this will help you in terms of your power um, rewards which must be stacked up for your model to win in the long run okay for sustainability so we take a look at all of that here at Master the Markets and we teach our clients all on this systematic methodological way as well. Best place to start, of course, would be our Traders Base Camp package. You can always contact us uh, to get more information on that. So just a quick recap, profitable entry points, open equity, how much move is left, price action, look at something that's going really against you, and then finally, um, define your reward to risk and keep taking trades with a good high asymmetric reward to risk ratio which gives you a good power reward okay i guess that's pretty much that from me on this uh, video so digest that information any other questions post it on the video or contact us we are almost more than happy to help here to keep on spreading the truth and serving you all best quality education for you all to improve and success in your trading and succeed in your trading okay that's all from me for now as we always say till the next time stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master